This is an event that is uh, very important for us today here. We are here to launch the longest control operation in Turkana. The first invasion of the desert locust in Turkana was in mid-March. Those were swarms that arrived here and they were looking for places to deposit their eggs. What we're experiencing now are hatchlings, which we call hoppers, or rather in the biological terms, they are called nymphs. And uh, these nymph stages is what our focus is to control. Now, with the investigation levels of what we really have even now of the hoppers, going up to 200 uh, sites already uh, identified, very massive indeed, and therefore, uh, we expect a lot of destruction on the browse and vegetation, which is the key uh, source of livelihoods for the Turkana people. Yeah, you know, locusts come as a, an army. So when you want to go and fight an army, you have to be also go as an army. Watch it, you can do it, you can do it. Wind at a carry to Patuku. Some pigum can dive, because I'm wind in a good dive, pigum cross. We wanted to control them as fast as possible before they reach in star five and young adults who will start again maybe copulating and laying more eggs. So we need to control it uh, very fast because uh, the more you delay, the more they mature and the more disaster that will come. So you have to deal with them very fast. Uh, so far we have already four teams. Each team has got a surveillance vehicle, a spray vehicle, uh, and then each team again is going to be based in the sub-counties so that they will be nearer the targets. Those are the plans which are in place and uh, I think the cooperation between FAO uh, support in terms of their facilitation, the government initiative of pushing hard in terms of supporting the, the spray, ground spraying uh, systems, we are prepared. And I think with the systems that we are put in place in a strong way, the way it is now, we are going to finish that.
The challenges are that the desert locusts come in huge numbers. And if you delay the operations of controlling or containing them, either at a hopper stage, at a swamp stage, they can fly into another area and they fly back. Together, we can make sure that uh, we will not be overcome. We may not completely eradicate, but we'll put them under control and ensure that farmers continue. But we also strengthen our civilians' efforts. They are not going to end. So we can't specify a specific date that uh, by this date they will go. But we can simply say by this date, we have contained to a large extent what could have been uh, a disaster. Beyond uh, supporting farmers in the short term, in the long term, there's need for strengthening their farming capacity with extension, with recovery efforts, provision of seeds beyond just our control efforts. So when we put together our assessment efforts, the recovery efforts, they are meant to make sure that agriculture uh, continues and that the fight against the hunger is strengthened so that ultimately Turkana can become food self-sufficient. That's the hope of everyone.